Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Last time on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, we had Justice Part 1, where the gang arrived in uh, a place in Pakistan, and they uh, the town was very, very strange. Uh, there was a guy who died, but nobody cared. Everyone else was really strange as well. And then they met up with Enyaba, although they didn't know who she was, and she brought them into her hotel and gave them a room and decided that she was going to kill them there. Uh, but then, a uh, whole horse showed up and she was like, oh yeah, you were there, you know, uh, when my son died, right? And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm real sorry about that. And then she tried, she decided to kill him, which he may be dead. He got shot in the face, you know? So, who knows? But, um, but yeah, she used her stand, the Justice, in order to, uh, attack, uh, Whole Horse, and now she's going to go after Polnareff, because Polnareff was the one that killed her son. Yeah. This is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. This is also where I say that if you want to watch my reaction to this episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, what you gotta do is head down in the description or to the pinned comment. Click on the link there. That will take you over to the reaction. You can watch it. Hopefully have a good time. When you're done with that, you can pop right back over here to this video for the discussion. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Here we go. Alrighty, that's Justice Part 2. You know... <laughs> you know... I do like it when, you know, everyone's, like, freaking out, and then Jotaro is like, I'm just gonna beat him now. I do honestly like that. <laughs> this may have been his most nonsensical victory. M nonsensical? Sense... Sen his most nonsense victory. Like, I'm just going to suck in her stand. And then she'll be down. Like, okay. If you say so. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I do actually want to go back real quick to what they said at the end there. Okay, so, he's saying, look, you should kill Anyaba, which obviously, you know, he's still on Dio's side, but saying, if they do go through with this, and they find out more about Dio, they're going to find something terrifying. <sighs> That is, that's, that's interesting, because we know about Dio, we've seen part one, you know? God, this is still where the disconnect, 14 ep, no. Wait. Oh, wait, this is 15. Oh, oh that is, it is 15, yeah. 13 was Wheel of Fortune, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I wrote 14. Okay. Sorry. Jeez. 15 episodes in. 15 episodes in, I still feel like there is a bit of a disconnect. Because it's like, oh yeah. Dio. Dio is still, like, he's the bad guy again. But we haven't seen enough of him yet. You know? And because he was such a personal villain in part one, it's kind of weird to have these other characters having to face Dio, you know? It almost it kind of feels like there's a bit of a disconnect there. Like I've even 15 weeks in, I'm still almost in like disbelief that Dio is our villain again, you know? But okay, so they're going I I guess you know, cuz we know, we've seen <laughs> unless Enyaba is going to show them part one, you know, unless she like, it's like, oh, they learn, they learn about Dio and they just watch Phantom Blood. It's like, <laughs> I do, I would love to hear Joseph be like, 
That bastard! He took my grandmother's kissing virginity! We have to stop him. Uh. Because, I mean, yeah, it's like... Yes, there is, you know, killing Sir Joestar and Baron Zeppeli and Jonathan. But it's like, you know, the, uh, the first thing he really did was he kissed Irina before Jonathan. So, yeah, it's like, it's, it's honestly kind of funny when it's like, yeah, that was the first thing, the first evil act of Dio. You know, which, although I guess there was also, like, the fight with you. Know, I'll jam my thumb in his eye. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. I... I don't know. It's... So, them... Him saying that, it's like, oh, you'll learn the real... The terrifying truth of Dio, and you don't want to. Like, is it just his power? Because we don't really know what his stand is, you know? So that makes sense, you know, when Jotaro's like, oh, you know, not only do we need to learn about the other stand users, but we also need to learn what Dio's stand is, you know? Where is Dio and what is his stand? Because he, he honestly, yeah, we don't know what his stand is. So, and you have to assume it has to be the most powerful one because, you know, Dio. So, he's Dio. He's Vigo. To him, you are like the buzzing of flies. That that's basically Enyaba. Enyaba is basically uh, the the one guy from Ghostbusters Two. Who's like he is Vigo. To him, you are like the buzzing of flies. Like it, she is basically that. You know. And just like in Ghostbusters Two, our heroes are going to prevail. Our four heroes are going to prevail. There you go. There you go. Stardust Crusaders is basically just Ghostbusters 2, everybody. Glad we figured this out. Anyway. So, I'm very curious to learn the truth, the true power of Dio. Formerly Brando, now just Dio. I still find that interesting, by the way, that he just dropped the Brando at some point. It's like, I don't know, is that to, like... Did they just, like, give up, like, who cares? It's just, it's just Dio. We all call him Dio. It doesn't matter. I don't know. It's just interesting. Because it's always all caps, too. Like, they always write Dio's name in all caps now. And they've pretty much just dropped the Brando. But it's like, no, that that is still his name. Dio Brando. I don't know. Um. Anyway. I guess we should get into the notes. Uh, the first thing I wrote down is alone. Uh, which, that was very interesting, the conversation between uh, Paul Nareff and, and Yaba. Um, I did really like that. It was really funny. Um, just Paul Nareff, like, this just shows what kind of a guy Paul Nareff is. Like, he is pushing all of her buttons, and he doesn't know it, you know? Like, just him talking, he's like, oh, you seem to just be all alone. Isn't that sad? And stuff like that. And I was like, eh. Yeah, but I don't know. It, it was just kind of funny, and obviously, you know, she's fuming because it's like, oh, I had a son, and you killed him and stuff. So, nah. Um, Whole horse is still alive. I'm I'm glad they explained that too, because it's like, is he still alive? And I was like, well, you know, the last time a guy got shot in the head, <laughs> the last time a guy got shot in the head, I doubted it, and then he turned out to be dead. So I was like, oh, okay, well, Jorge. Whore horse, oh my god, <laughs> whole horse has to be dead, right? It's like no, he's not dead. But I do like the explanation that he, um, he made his stand disappear. He he basically put away his stand before it actually shot him. You know, so that was pretty cool. I, I like that. So yeah, whole horse is still out there. Yay, the whole horse. Um, zombies. That was really interesting. You know, at first it's like, okay, so, you know, it's like, okay, her stand is a miss. Like, okay, well, it's not humanoid, but whatever. We can get past that. And it's like, okay. But it, you know, it goes into an injury. So the justice can't make an injury. She has to make the injury for justice to get in there and take control, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, 
So, and I like that it's like, it's not only that, it's not only that she can, you know, then, you know, marionette, basically, you know, her enemies, but she can also just summon an army of the dead using the justice. That was really, really cool. Honestly, she may have one of the cooler stands, you know, because there's some times where it's like, we look at these stands and I'm like, God, I wish I, if I got a stand, I would hope it was not that stand. Like wheel of fortune comes to mind as, or even like yellow temperance. Like I would, I would hope that I did not get a stand like this. You know, I would want something like star platinum or hierophant green, even hermit purple. I would rather take over that, you know? Um, so but this one was actually really, really cool. I actually did really like this one. This was very creative. So that, that was good. I liked, uh, I do really like the justice. Um, oi. Ah, we had the tongue. I mean, just, a, just an injury on the tongue, first of all, is horrible. But then it's like, oh God, she's going to make him lick the toilet. Like, uh, oh, how does he not throw up? You know, like that's crazy. Uh, so yeah, poor, poor Paul Nareff. But Paul Nareff gets singled out a lot, doesn't he? Like, well, I guess between Centerfold and, uh, and Yaba, I guess. That's, I guess that's kind of it. Although, I don't know. If we, like, look at the episodes. Uh, and, uh, Ebony Devil. Yeah. Like, he's gotten three stand users basically to himself. Although, Jotaro had to come in and defeat Enyaba. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. It's, it's still, it's like, man, Polnareff is really getting a lot of screen time here. Meanwhile, Kakyoin kind of hasn't had anything for a, a, a good while, you know? Like, honestly, yeah, hold on. I mean, Kakyoin, he he helped out with, uh, with Centerfold, but Hierophant Green didn't do too much. You know, like, he had Tower of Grey. And that's it. Wow. Okay. So, man, Kakyoin's kind of been slacking for a while. Like, yeah, he, again, he helped out with Centerfold and the Hanged Man, but still, he didn't, like, he didn't do a ton. It was, it was Polnareff who ended up, you know, who did most of the fighting, you know? I don't know. <clears throat> I, I guess it's basically Hierophant Green hasn't done a ton. And yeah, you know, he helped out, like, with, uh, the Wheel of Fortune as well, but we haven't had just him fighting, you know? I want Hierophant Green to fight. I, I guess if if we're being really... Sh if we're being technical, he's only had two stands that he's legitimately fought. One is Tower of Grey, the other is Star Platinum. So, yeah. Um, I do like... I, mean, I love how clever Jotaro is. I love, you know, I love it because Joseph would have never done this if he was still the main character, you know? Like, this would not have happened in part two, where it's like, you know, oh, you know, how do you know my name? And it's like, oh, it's in the, the welcome book, you know, in the sign-in book. It's like, really? Because I didn't write Jotaro in there. Um, I didn't write Jotaro in there at all. You know, it's like, that... I don't know, like, I don't, I don't want to, like, discredit Joseph, but it honestly doesn't sound like jo something Joseph would have done, you know? And that's the thing, because Joseph is extremely clever, but I don't know if he would have been that clever. You know, it sounds like something Caesar would have done, you know? But, um, but yeah, so I, I do like that about Jotaro, that he's incredibly clever, you know? So, that was very interesting. You know, just from, and, you know, that's the thing, he's been suspicious ever since... She called him Joestar, you know? So, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, again, it's like, okay, so, you know, everyone's freaking out, like, oh, she's invincible, you can't beat her, and then Jotaro's like, give me a grief, I got this. <laughs> uh, I, by the way, I love saying it like that, give me a grief, which is not a saying, but I just, I don't know, I've thought about that, and it's like, oh, that's funny. I, like, said that one time. I was like, oh, that's hilarious. Give me a grief. Good grief. I, I don't know why Jotaro, like, shares his catchphrase with Charlie Brown, you know? Good grief. Good grief. You know? It's, I don't know. He's anime Charlie Brown, you know? Anyway. So, yeah. Stardust Crusaders is Ghostbusters 2, and its protagonist is anime Charlie Brown.
you're welcome for that, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's like, okay, so he has a plan. What's he going to do? Star Platinum will suck, suck, yellow, not yellow temperance, excuse me, uh, justice. I got confused for a second. It will suck justice, and that will suffocate her. How does Star Platinum have lungs? Is that also Jotaro breathing? I don't know. This was really like his most nonsense sort of way to win, you know? This one was very weird, I have to say. So, I don't know. It was interesting, I guess. It worked, but it was very odd, you know? Very, very odd. Uh, the reveal that this wasn't even a town, this was a graveyard, was pretty interesting. Um, which, that also helps with, like, you know... Last episode, they didn't really talk about it, but yeah, it's like... She made Joseph think he was hopping in the car when he was actually hopping on, you know, spikes. So... I guess it makes sense that Justice can do something like that, you know? So, yeah. And then we're show she's still alive, and we're going to take her to a city that has a TV so they can learn the truth about Dio, I guess, or learn of Dio's power, which I'm very curious. I want to know. It's, I, it's, it's strange because it's, it's basically something that I won't know about Dio, you know? But I've been follow I followed Dio throughout Phantom Blood, whereas none of the characters here did. You know, all the information Joseph has on Dio would have been from Arena and Speedwagon, you know? And Arena was only there at the end, you know? Speedwagon probably had the most knowledge, so that's the thing. All of that is secondhand for Joseph, so I would love I'd also love an interaction, you know, with Dio. I would love that. So hopefully we get that next episode. Um, I guess that's basically it. This was a good episode. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I want to know. I want to know more about Dio and his power. Can his stand use his vampire powers? That would be my question, I guess. Because that would be pretty OP. He was already OP as a vampire, you know? So, yeah. That's basically it. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.